In this video we will talk about creating schemas, also called mimic diagrams. Open the copy of the Hello World project, expand the Views node, choose a folder, right-click the folder and create a new file. Double click the file to open Scheme Editor. The editor consists of two parts the window application and the web page. The first components page contains groups of components standard group and basic group. The properties page is used to edit properties of components and properties of the scheme document. You can change the default font, colors of the scheme, but the most important property is the scheme size in pixels. Let's add components to the scheme. The static text component uh, shows a text which is not changed changes. For example, a title. Dynamic text component usually used to display channel values. We can switch to the table view and choose a channel. which is bound to the component. Also, I want to set an action to draw a diagram when a user clicks the component. Static picture component shows the specified image. I downloaded the image pack from RapidScada website and choose an image from the pack. Dynamic picture component can show different images depending on conditions. First uh, I will choose a, a default image then specify conditions and I need to bound the component to an input channel. I will use the channel 104. A button can send a command on click. This also should be bound to a channel to send a command. The LED already contains the required conditions. We just need to bound it to a channel. Using a link component, you can show any web page or you can show the specified view. We will display a view with ID number two in a pop up window. And 
the toggle allows us to display and change a channel volume. The scheme is ready and we need to specify it in the views table. Let's copy an object and type scheme title. Upload the project for execution. Refresh the web page. My scheme is displayed. If I click dynamic text, a chart is open. We can change the channel value, which affects three other components. and display the view number two and change channel value using the toggle. That's all. Thank you.